More than two and a half million men in the United States who have been diagnosed with prostate cancer at some point are still alive today. We spoke with Dr. Murthy and Avalu at the Desert Comprehensive Cancer Center at Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs, who told us about prostate cancer. Usually it is not with any symptoms that it is diagnosed, but most elderly patients above the age of 60 have some obstruction or urgency or frequency of urination, but they do not necessarily mean prostate cancer. They often mean benign enlargement of the prostate, and the same thing happens with prostate cancer also. The diagnosis is made when there is any suspicion or symptom or um, an elevated PSA that is found on routine annual screening examination by the primary physician. And uh, that is when it is suspected and then the specific diagnosis is confirmed by doing a biopsy by the urologist. When the prostate cancer is diagnosed, obviously there, were, there will be again decisions that will be made. The first decision being should the cancer be treated and if it is, if, and if it needs to be treated, should it be treated right away? And if it needs to be treated right away, is it by radiation, surgery, or uh, uh, hormonal therapy, or a combination of some of these? This is exactly where multidisciplinary treatment conferences and multidisciplinary clinics come into the picture because they operate, the treatment modalities are multiple, including surgery, radiation, and hormonal therapy being given by the medical oncologist and subsequently followed by medical oncologist. So there are at least three, if not more, medical subspecialties that are involved in the treatment. So, and subspecialists, that means the surgeon, the urologist, the radiation oncologist, and the medical oncologist who oversees the overall picture. The whole idea of multidisciplinary clinic for prostate cancer is for the patient to have a better, complete and clearer understanding of the options of treatment available once the treatment decision is made. Instead of going to three or four different physicians' offices on several uh, occasions, we have the option of having the patient being evaluated sequentially in the same day, on the same day, in the same clinic by the multiple specialists including the urologist, radiation oncologist and medical oncologist and give the patient the, the accurate diagnosis, the possibly the staging at that time and the treatment options available and the risks and benefits of each treatment modality which is what the patient will need to understand so that he can make a decision. Our goal is to make sure that the patient gets all the options explained to him, understands them, has the opportunity to ask questions that sometimes the urologist or the medical oncologist may have to turf to the radiation oncologist and that happens pretty much on the same day. And so the patient usually leaves the multidisciplinary clinic with a much clearer understanding and closer to that decision. The team consists of the primary care doctor, the urologist who made the biopsy, and the medical oncologist who will be the primary oncologist for the patient and the radiation oncologist. And we also have support services like the social worker and sometimes, especially in our comprehensive cancer center, we have a program called the navigator program. Sometimes patients who are newly diagnosed with prostate cancer, they need a patient who has gone through the process to navigate them through the process. So these are all the team members for the multidisciplinary clinic.